Good afternoon. John here, Juliet Oscar November. Another video in regard to planning for my Great Loop cruise. I'm using this cool little GoPro knockoff that I've got here. It's called an Acaso, A K A S O, 4K Ultra HD. That takes 32 gig um, little card, so it can record. I don't know an hour or so. But uh, anyway, one of the guys on the uh, on the radio, <coughs> John, Decatur John, whose call sign I cannot recall, recommended that I get something like this, and I'm going to be able to hook it onto the. Uh, um, there's handrails on top of the tribe of G. I'll be able to mount it up there, and it's got a little waterproof box, and um, do some video from up there in the water. This is all the stuff that came with it. There's a, just all kinds of mounting stuff, and uh, I put them in this. Oops, there goes one. Anyway, I put them in this little uh, Cabot Greek yogurt thing to keep them uh, keep them organized. And my desk is getting totally out of control, but that's all right. If find a little waterproof box here in a minute but anyway it's a little waterproof box pretty cool GoPro has them um, one of the things I wanted to point out was this stuff this stuff comes highly recommended it's called new finish the once a year car polish and you're probably wondering what the heck is that for on a boat well what it's for is when you travel with a white hull boat like mine is um, a lot of the water that I travel in in Florida North Florida and then up the intercoastal waterway, and I'm going to go through the Dismal Swamp Canal, is soaked with tannins uh, from all the cypress trees and what have you. And the boat ends up with a mustache on it, which I find personally distasteful. So supposedly I've been to told that if I put this stuff on there, uh, I won't get that Great Loop mustache, which supposedly comes off easier, but I just don't want one to start with. Um, I have a couple of... Uh, couple of uh, LED flashlights here. Uh, John also recommended that I have a flashlight in my uh, in my uh, emergency box and I think that's excellent advice. Those, those have rechargeable batteries in them so I'm going to put those in there. And then I just got in a shipment of, uh, of 30 micron primary fuel filters. I'm going to go with the 30 instead of the 10. Um, this past week on Wednesday I had a guy from Panama City uh, coastal fuel cleaning come over and he sucked out the fuel out of both fuel tanks there's two 100 gallon fuel tanks on this boat and I had no idea how old the fuel was or how much water was in there and as I mentioned before at the interface between the water and the fuel there are bacteria and um, algae that'll grow there they use the some of the compounds in the um, in the fuel as their carbon source and with that water, they're able to grow. And when you buy diesel fuel, you're buying water. It's just, it's just a natural law. It's like gravity. And normally you're getting around 1% water. So what you do is um, you put stuff in there to soak the water up. And hopefully it goes through the injectors and doesn't cause bad things. But you want to keep the water down. But anyway, I had about 50 gallons of fuel in each tank. And, uh, and uh, there goes my radio. And so he sucked it out and he looked at it and he could filter it with, or polish it as they say. But he concluded by looking at it that it was um, it was pretty cloudy so it had a lot of gunk in it. So rather than trying to clean it, he just took it out and uh, he'll dispose of it. It cost me a dollar a gallon to get him to dispose of it. But anyway, it's good. Clean. Then he pumps other stuff in there and flushed the tanks out and got them all nice and clean. So hopefully I'm not going to have to worry about any um, any fuel filter issues when I get in rough water. Because uh, that's normally what happens is that you get in rough water and all the crap in the bottom of your fuel tank gets picked up into the fuel pickups, sucked into the filter and, and clogs your filter and your engine stalls. And I've changed fuel filters in four, five, six foot waves a time or two. And believe me, it ain't the way to have fun. And uh, so anyway, hopefully I'm not going to experience that, but I'm prepared if we do. Um, finally, one other thing I, I wanted to just show you real quick was I was talking about um, earlier my autopilot and I got this new head for my autopilot. I think it weighs a ton. Um, the autopilot, the screen on my on the one that's on the boat right now is just, I don't know what happens to them, but they just go bad. Probably one of you guys knows what happened, but you just can't read it anymore. And what this thing does 
and this is going to steer the boat for me and this is just the control head there's all kinds of parts um, underneath that you can't see but I'll take some videos of that when I go down there I'm going down there this week but you uh, just stand by and then when you when you want to autopilot you push auto and this thing comes on and you can adjust the course by turning this knob um, and then if you're going to hit something you can push dodge and it'll turn the wheel 45 degrees and if you want to if you want to adjust the course a little bit starboard or port you just push those or you just do it like that or you can just go back on the standby and turn the boat using the GPS chart plotter and just hit auto again and then it'll follow that course but that's my that's my uh, GPS or my in my uh, um, autopilot control head that I'm going to put on it and I was so happy to find it I thought I was totally out of luck and I found this guy on the internet of course down in uh, the Outer Banks who had one and it was brand new so uh, <clears throat> anyway I bought that from him I think I told you about that before um, I'm probably going to take my old one off and send it down to him he says he can fix it fix the screen on it I'm probably going to have him fix the screen on it so that I'll have a spare being a cautious type I like to have a spare so that's pretty well what I've got going on here today I'm going to make another video here in just a minute uh, to demonstrate some of the um, some of the navigational systems that I'm going to use. So uh, anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my video. Talk to you soon.